What's good my G's? G stands for gamers. It is I, your boy Snow, ignorant gamers in the house. How you doing? How you living? How you gaming? Before I get started in the video, as usual, I want to thank all you guys for giving me and the rest of my team of the ignorant gamers your time, your views, your likes, your subscribes, your comments, your hate, your love, all those signs of, or tokens as we say around here, of appreciation. If you're new to the channel, as I just said, there's a team of us, mainly Rizza and Snow. I am Snow. I guess you can say I'm the PlayStation resident gamer here. That guy, Rizza, is a goddamn Microsoft whore, so you can count him as the Xbox dude. And generally, we hate Nintendo. We don't hate Nintendo. We love Nintendo. But anyway, enough with all that crap, right? So, you see the title. I want to give a huge shout out to Tara Long at Tara Longest on Twitter. I'm not looking for this video to get to her. I'm not looking for her to respond. In fact, I'm pretty sure this video will never make it to her and I actually would appreciate it that it didn't get to her. The reason why I'm calling out Tara Longest is for one thing and one thing only. And it's been something I've been wanting to make a video about before and I just, it's not that I never got around to it, I consciously kept my mouth shut on it. There is nothing that I can do to add value to her, her career, her name, none of that stuff, right? But I want to tell y'all something about this industry when the noise gets too loud. I talk to Rizzo a lot about noise. Noise can, in any field, whatever it is that you do and you love, your passions, your hobbies, noise can kill it's like stress it's like self-doubt it's like you know it's like not having the confidence in yourself insecurities like noise also can silence people Tara came across I came across Tara a while ago I think it was in like 2010 and we were still trying to figure out what the PlayStation uh, phone was and was <laughs> remember that so I was looking it up, I was already a Techzilla fan, aka Screen Service fan, you know what I mean, the whole lineage is there, so I never left them once I discovered that they moved to YouTube. And um, every now and then, Tara would be in a segment, and you know, I never really gave her that much attention because she did what she did, she did it very well. It wasn't until I started to be more interested in something more specific where I can understand exactly how dope and how smart she is and how intelligent she is and the, the kind of way where you want Tara to review and or cover all of your interests because she gives it to you from a different angle of realism. It's not a sell. It's not a, it's not a, a, a tell you not to sell. It's not a, a criticism, it's not bias, and I appreciated that. And then I seen that same PlayStation thing that I'm telling you about. I don't know who that guy was, but I felt that they kept, they kept trying to take her in an area that it shouldn't have went. She's not that kind of a woman. And I say that word woman on purpose. And it was borderline disrespectful to me to watch that because here's someone that's super highly intelligent and y'all trying to like basically throw digital boners in her face while she's on screen with you. Maybe they chemistry, maybe I read it too much into it, but it felt like everybody was doing it. Do she has that sense of humor? I'm pretty sure she does, but it didn't work on camera. In my opinion, it kind of made her feel unprofessional but she had to 
tag along with the banter. Also, I want to give a shout out to a video that they did. I've been rocking with her and generally Rev3 games before they were Rev3 games. Like there was some show called like New Challenger and then uh, the Anthony guy that everyone tends to hate. He had another thing before that. Like they've been around. Like don't get it twisted. They've been around. And I know y'all know about Olivia Munn and everything that went down with her. And Tara is way beyond that. So let me get back to the subject. The mind and the people who are like Tara will probably never get the respect for their opinion, for their expertise, for their for, for their gift in doing what they do. And for me, what I love since I was a young kid is gaming. When you watch her reviews, when you watch her interviews, the real interviews, not shit like that nailed, you know what I'm saying? When you watch these things where she can be her and not have to deal with dickwads, shout out to Tara if she ever hears that, she knows what I mean, you know, that will try to throw her off her game with some gender specific shit. Now, the reason why I want to continue to put this out there because the community has a good way of just being a little bit cruel. And I want to extend this beyond gender to just any of the reviewers. The one that's just getting started out, the new YouTube dude with five subscribers right now, where those five subscribers are his friends and they decided to believe in him. Or maybe four of them are, and one of them seen him and was like, you know, let me give him that pity subscription. And that person can be the next Tyra personified. That person can be the next gamer reviewer Tyra personified. If you allow that person to evolve. I know she did the video and she credits Adam Sessler and I'm a huge fan of Adam. I'm a fan of Adam from videogames.com which is GameSpot.com. Way before he made it to TV. And I agree with the sentiment that she expressed towards him. Never met the dude. Never spoke to the dude. Never had an interaction with the dude. But I've always taken his reviews to the heart games that were two weeks out three weeks out because we're living a now age you say it it's there you search for it someone has covered it now he was still on tv when i caught him <laughs> and if there was a game out there that i was on fence about heard some good reviews some bad things i can count on him and his team at whatever those shows were at the time i'm just gonna say x play shout out to morgan webb another female that I respect highly in this in this field that it would be a great purchase when I took his advice and it would be a great skip when I took his advice and there's times where I went against just to see like yo Adam I don't know I, that was that was a little too much and then I purchased it and then yes it hit and then there was one where he said, nah, Snow, go ahead and get this. And I was like, nah, I kind of like, don't like how you put that out. It didn't sound right for me. And then I got my hands on it when it was no longer relevant. And was like, shit, he had it right. And that's the same way that I felt with Tara's perspective on the gaming thing. And like I said, if you guys don't know what Tara does besides gaming, I suggest you look long and hard. Shout out to Tara Long. So I did that. And that wasn't that wasn't that. That was just a play in the last name. That's not sexual. Anyway, so I think that you guys who have followed Rev3 from the get-go, those who purely have Max, Scott, Tara, <laughs> and Anthony, best well, you know, best well-being, best you know, thoughts and wishes that mine continue to follow him now that Rev3 is no longer and and continue to, f to follow Tyra to push her and let her know that, you know, it's going to be all good. And I feel a little guilty because it got harder to watch the Rev3 games because I've been around. I'm not going to say I've, I haven't been around. I've been around corporate and everything and you can see the changes that was going on. You kind of knew where it was heading. If you've been around like I have and it was just 
a little hard to watch but um it was definitely a great journey to get her perspective without any agendas thrown on it she did it without agenda she did it without an agenda she did it because she was at the end of the day a human being and that's all I ask for people when they do whatever it is that they do just be a human don't be a guy don't be a girl don't be a dick don't be any of that dumbass shit just be a person feed it to us in a way that you enable us not persuade but you enable us the tools to make a decision on what it is that you're talking about and I've always felt that that's what she did. I don't feel like she sugarcoats it. I don't feel like she fluffs it. I don't feel like she downplays it. I just think that she does her best and a very good job of doing it under time to get her point across. And for that, without giving you compliments or anything else, <laughs> I salute you, Tara. Best of luck, best wishes to you and the entire Rep3 team. And, you know, on a low, it sucks to see you dip off. But bigger and better things await you. I know you guys will be hitting the TV soon. I can just smell it. And uh, yeah, that was my video for today. And I know some of you guys are wondering if I'm going to get at her in a different way. And to be honest with you, this is a straight up respect thing. She will never know the other shit. Because we don't have no reason to ever speak face to face. And I'm pretty sure that won't happen. But I plan on seeing her on TV soon. And keyword, television. Not back on YouTube. Not saying that YouTube is a bad thing. But I think she deserves that shot if that's what she wants. So, I'm going to get out of here. Your boy Snow. Ignorant Gamers. If you like the video, like the video. Subscribe. You already know. Whatever. I'm not going to ask you to share this video, but I just want you guys on this channel and whoever discovered this video, if you go back on Rev3 Games and you check her reviews out, and if you're inspiring to be a YouTuber or and to get into the business, check Tyra's videos out. That's nothing against everybody else, but if you're trying to really understand the way that I'm talking about it, believe me, that would be my source and her, like I said before if you've seen her video she does shout out to Adam Sessler and I'm gonna shout him out too and you can watch his videos too but check out Taurus alright the master always teaches the next great leader and the legend so holla at me your boy Snow and I'm out one